Jordan, on a scale of 1 to 100, how athletic would you consider yourself? Where 100 would be LeBron James and 1 would be me? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think that I'm probably like a like an 85. I think that guys don't really know I can I can jump and do things like that. But I think once workouts start, they'll really be able to see my explosiveness. I know I lost some weight um, since school's been out, and, I, and once that happened, I know I got really explosive, and I've been doing some things that I've been do, that I was doing in high school, jumping back. And I know I've been doing yoga, so I've been loosening up my hips, things like that. Something that I had problems with at Texas, and um, I'm feeling a lot better now, and I haven't been having no hip pains. Interesting. Um, most people have you projected as a three right now. Coming out of high school, you were projected as a two. Do you, is it, does that matter, or do you think? I mean, do you think that you're more one way or the other? Uh, I know that um, when we got measurements today, I, I was six, I measured in at six eight. So I think I can still play the two though, or two on the next level. Um, like I said, you know, once my hips continue to loosen up and do things like that, I'll be more agile like I was back in high school. And um, I know it's going to be a whole new game. Once I reach the NBA level, chasing guys off screens and doing things like that, and I just got to like bring it every night. Most guys don't really talk very much about loosening up their hips, stuff like that. That's something that I think comes for a lot of guys later in their career. Where is that from Texas? Is that from your workout process now? Just doing the proper stretches. Um, most of the time, I'll just do stretches like on my legs and loosen up my arms. But I have to loosen up my hips and things like that. And like I've been doing, and I've been feeling a lot better, and I haven't been having any pains all, um, all off, training, off training season. You've been working with uh, Rob McClanahan out in L.A.? Yeah, Rob, Rob McClanahan in Santa Monica. We've been doing a lot of stuff there, and um, we've been working hard. Where were you weight-wise at the end of the season, and where are you now? You you dropped some pounds. Yeah, at the end of the season, I was two, 230. I'm about, I weighed in at 226 today, so I lost four pounds, and um, I feel a lot better, too. I've been eating the right foods and things like that. So Get away from the college junk food? Yeah, yeah. Most of the time in college, you just have to grab something really quick, then head to class and things like that. But now that I have more time to just focus on basketball, I think that now I feel a lot better and I can I can get the right foods. Thank you. No problem. Jordan, there seems to be some people talk about you at the NBA prospect. They say, well, we love his talent, but some concerns about attitude, red flags, stuff like that. Do you think that that's that there is any truth to that? Well, I think that that's what the, uh, the the interviews that we have with the different teams are good. You know, I was able to talk to talk to teams and do things like that. And um, once I was able to talk to them, I think that they were really getting to see that, you know, I, I'm a genuine kid and I'm a, I'm a likable kid. And I know it's just my passion for the game. I know sometimes guys see my emotions. But um, towards the end of the season, I thought that I got a, I did a lot better job. The guys had to sit with Coach Barnes, and he made an a edit of me, you know, body language and things like that. And once I saw that, you know, I said I can't act like that. So towards the end of the season, I just did all, all the right things. As a freshman, there was definitely some concerns about shot selection, and that seemed to improve as a sophomore. Was that something conscious that you know, conscious decision that you made? Uh, yeah. Um, after my freshman season, I uh, told them to make an edit for me at every bad shot that I took. And um, once we, once I watched it, you know, I, I said into my sophomore year that you know I can't shoot those shots, and I can't, I can't do that because it can hurt our team. And so once once I did that, I got in the gym and I worked on what I need to work on, one two dribbles, posting up, do things like that. And I utilized all those things my sophomore season, and I had more success. And so, and so did my team. Even though we lost we lost in uh, the third round in Arizona, but we still fought hard, and I think we still had a had a pretty good season. What kind of role do you see yourself playing in the NBA? Uh, I, I bring uh, shooting. I can bring. Def I could definitely shoot it. Uh, Team needs shooting. I can, I can do that. I can rebound. I like rebounding, getting down there with uh, big guys or small guys or whatever, and rebounding the ball. Uh, I can post up. You know, sometime I can, I can take guys off the dribble. I'm, a, I'm a really good passer. I don't, I don't think a lot of people was able to see, see that. You know, and um, I think that I'll be able to show that. You know, once I get to the next level. Are you gonna be a, a pick and roll ISO guy in the NBA, or do you see yourself more coming off screens and, and that that kind of stuff? Uh, I think I can do both. You know, whatever team, whatever team wants me to do, either or, I, you know, I'll, I'll be fine doing it. And I just play my role and uh, and watch the veteran guys and, and see how see how they see how they play and see what the older guys want me to do and uh, see what the coach wants me to do. And once that's once that's done, I can I can bring whatever. Five years from now, what kind of NBA player are you? Um, that's a good question. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, I'm I'm still healthy. Uh, just like everybody, you know, you never know what can happen. But um, hopefully, I'm still healthy, and hopefully, I can I can I can make things happen. 
for my for my ball club, and I can continue to just play hard and um, see myself probably like a, like a Danny Granger style type player. What teams have you met with so far? I met with the uh, with the Spurs, the uh, Wizards, and the um, Spurs, Wizards, and the Bucks. I have seven interviews today. I know my first one is the Rockets, and then it goes down the list from there. Anybody ask you anything that made you have to think or laugh or anything crazy? Uh, they asked me, um, you know, what was I thinking my freshman year when I when I shot the ball so many times, and uh, how long was that edit? How long was that edit that was when I all the bad shots that I took, and I just I just thought it was pretty funny, but um. I definitely learned from I definitely learned from those things from my freshman season, and now I look back at it, and you know I can laugh about it now. How long was that edit? Uh, it, was, it was pretty, <laughs> pretty long. It was about 20, 20 minutes uh, 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 editing of watching. I don't know how long the edit took. Probably took a couple of days. So, was it tough to watch? Oh uh, yeah, at, at the time um, when I sat down with coach, it was kind of awkward at the time. Uh, I was pretty embarrassed, but you know, sophomore year I did a much better job as far as shooting the ball and scoring the ball, and. Um, and I'm glad I watched it now because look back on it, like I said, I can laugh about it now and, and just move forward and continue to get better.